In this video, we're going to talk about how to be an entrepreneur. We have a lot of people who talk about, I'm a CEO, starting a business, but no one's saying how to be an entrepreneur. How does one go about that? If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do is learn how to make money here. Stack money, build money. And to me, the best way to do that is to live that entrepreneur life. And there's a lot of people who don't want that responsibility, so y'all can leave the room. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the heroes, the sheroes, the people. who want to impact and change their lives through entrepreneurship, who want to be the man that the photos hung up because you'd be Papa because you were the dude that set up the family fortune. You were the dude that changed the financial family tree because you went out and killed a dragon. You became an entrepreneur. So how does one be an entrepreneur? Number one, you must have courage to be an entrepreneur. There's a lot of people out there who are scared to try anything. It may not work. It may not go the way that it's planned. It's just scared. They're scared. They're scared to make moves. They're scared to commit to anything. They're scared to spend money. They're just scared. So as an entrepreneur, you've got to have courage. Number two, as an entrepreneur, you got to have a lot of faith. Faith in self, faith in other people you don't even know. Like when you order your product from China, you must have faith that the merchant is going to send you your product. It takes a lot of faith, a lot of practice of faith. And I'm not talking about that faith as faith where, yeah, I believe. No, you walk on your faith. You just don't believe it. You actually take actions based upon your faith. Because this entrepreneurial life is exciting, scary, stressful, and a little crazy. Which brings me to number three. As an entrepreneur, you need to be a little crazy. Many of you watch the stories that I have on the channel, and that's because I'm a little crazy. Situations that most of y'all would avoid, I just jump right into it. So you gotta be a little crazy. You can't be wrapped too tight because it's an impossible dream that in your mind, you have this concept for a business. Then you bring it out of your mind and you take it and you put it into the real world and through blood, sweat, tears, a lot of action, you create something that creates money that didn't exist before. That's like magic. It's like you're a magician. It's like alchemy. That's the life of an entrepreneur. Another thing you have to have is good money, money management skills. Uh, when I was in the storage auction business, I used to see the storage units of failed businesses and the business was making money, they were just spending more money than the business was making. You'll need to manage your money. You, you, you got to get that. And you don't have to come, become one of these pathologically cheap people, but you do need good sound management skills and money management skills. Also, as an entrepreneur, you need to have hope. I hope this works out, but I'm gonna work very hard to make sure this works out. Number, you know, you need to be a dreamer. You know, I was uh, looking at yachts on YouTube and I was just imagining that somebody had a concept for this big boat that they drew up on some paper Developed some schematics and someone built this and this shot sailing around the world right now that started in someone's imagination This is why you've got to you gotta have imagination. You got to be creative You've got to be different than the average person This is one of the reasons that immigrants do so well with business first of all You have to look at the immigrant how many people can leave everything that they know to go to a foreign land. This person is already different because they did that. They got the secret sauce. 
There's a lot of people out here who are talking this talk of an entrepreneur. They got on Instagram, they on Facebook, but they don't have no business. You got to be real as an entrepreneur. Real. Real, real, real. Real business, real money, real results. I can't get any plainer than that because the there are many people who want to be an entrepreneur. But there are not many people who want to practice the craft of entrepreneurship, which takes daily practice, which takes daily discipline. A lot of people don't want to be the entrepreneur putting out fires because every morning I wake up, I got a few fires to put out. I'm an email, there's a fire in my email, there's maybe a, a whack comment on YouTube. <coughs> every day, you, you putting on your fireman hat and you, shh, you putting out fires. A lot of people just want to chill. Entrepreneurs don't want to chill. Entrepreneurs want to build. They want to get busy. This is typically why people who start successful companies and sell them actually start another company because they get restless. Elon Musk, PayPal, Tesla, SpaceX, Solar. He can't sit still, which means you got that entrepreneur itch that you want to go out into the world, you want to build something, you want to leave your mark in the world. Because long after Elon Musk dies, everyone's going to remember his name, Tesla. Every time you go out, you see Tesla on every corner. There are people buying these cars. Another thing that you need to be an entrepreneur to practice the craft of entrepreneurship is mental toughness. Once again, this is a big challenge because you've got a lot of people out there talking that yin yin. You can't do it. It ain't for you, man. I don't know why you're going to try to be an entrepreneur, man. I don't understand why you trying to be an entrepreneur. You. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I remember when I got into my first entrepreneur situation, I did not tell my immediate family. They had no clue what I was doing because I knew that I couldn't trust them to support me because they were narrow-minded, extremely conservative, and risk-adverse. They could not see the possibilities. And I didn't tell my mother because I knew she was a hater. And only, I remember I went home and I had the brand new BMW. And my mom was like, oh, this is a nice car. I was like, yeah. I bought it, I paid cash. And she looked at me like I had four heads. You pay cash for this car? Is what you doing legal? I was like, yeah, it's very legal. I sell office furniture. And I looked upon that, because this is another thing, and you gotta remember this if you're an entrepreneur. The people that know you best typically are gonna fall in a few camps. There will be people who will support you with vigor and gusto. And there will be people who will be full of doubt. And I miss, I, look, I didn't look up to being one of those supportive families. Like, you know, Richard Pryor talking about, you know, grandma like you, you on the kitchen, you cooking your heroin, and you cooking your smack, and you're like, you a chemist baby, trying to support you every twister. I didn't have that kind of support, and I knew it because uh, coming up, I had some issues painted the picture of who I was. At one point, I was a person, I did some bad things, and then I grew up. But typically, family like to keep looking you through, looking at you through that jacked up lens. They can't see the growth. Uh, another thing that happened to me was, I realized I had to get away from my family to realize how good of a person I was because once I went into the world and I started meeting all of these strangers who had nothing but love for me, who treated me extremely well, who threw me birthday parties, who threw surprise parties for me. I, I barely knew these people and they were more down than fam. And this is why I say that friends can be better than family. And I know many people disagree with that because you know family's supposed to be the be all, but that's your belief system, not mine. And it's your experiences and not mine. Because I've had friends who had more faith in my business acumen than my family. I remember I was having a rough patch. 
I was about to uh, get a job. I had actually went on an interview for Orkin. And I called up my boy Mario and he clowned me. He's like, man, you gonna give up this, this entrepreneurial life? You bet that. Get a job. You gonna be the roach man? I mean, he clowned me. I mean, he made me feel shame. And I'll never forget that because I went ahead and I, I called up work and said, I can't take the job. And I worked harder on my business than before and I, I made it through. I switched up. I got into storage to the auctions. I started making long money and I have Mario Fraley to thank for this because as an entrepreneur, you need to surround yourself by other entrepreneurs. Not people who are trying to start a business, but people who have started businesses, people who have taken the risk, people who are walking the walk, talking the talk, because they will understand your challenges. This would be someone you can talk to. This will be someone you can fellowship with. You can't fellowship with your fam. You can't fellowship with your friends because they don't know what you're going through. But if you have a strong circle of entrepreneurs, that will be your rock. They will help you. They will, and it, once again, entrepreneur, to live that entrepreneur life. You need a circle of entrepreneurs who are out here killing dragons every day to help guide you on your way. Because average folk, this life ain't for average folk. You can't be average folk trying to be an entrepreneur. You, you can't be average trying to be an entrepreneur. It takes a special person to take a concept out of their mind, turn it into some reality, and make some money from that reality. That's a special person. So if you're a real entrepreneur, you've got a business, you sell products, you sell service, you do that digital alchemy, you make that money, pat yourself on the back because you've done something that most people cannot do. You've realized your dreams. As an entrepreneur, as a successful entrepreneur, you are a rare breed. You, you, you run with the wolves. You run in the pack of wolves because you ain't human no more. You ain't normal no more. You can't be normal anymore. You may, you, your wife may even have problems understanding you unless she buys in 100%. And this is another thing an entrepreneur needs is a significant other that buys in. No doubts, no half step, and they buy into it because you're working so hard and you're making it happen. That's the thing of entrepreneur stuff because typically, I will say being an entrepreneur has saved my life. I started off with none of this stuff. I didn't have the courage. I didn't have the discipline. That's how I ended up in that boarding house. I was just a guy working a regular job, not saving money, not managing money, put, spending all my money just to live, living paycheck to paycheck. And I made a miscalculation with the woman I married who was a bad partner and I paid for that and my children paid for that. So once again, as an entrepreneur, you need to build yourself up first. Uh, I got into a discussion with someone that's like a woman can elevate you. I ain't trying to hear that. I built Mac Daddy Media, Conundrum Media, the upscale garage sale to a degree. I had a business partner who was an active working business partner, so I gotta give her credit. So with Conundrum Medium, which was the company that sold my book, I did that by myself. There was no support system other than a few friends. I did that. I went ahead and conquered that kingdom. And that's one of the reasons I'm so cocky and I talk so much smack because I have a long list of accomplishments behind me that I can reflect on, which tells me I can do more. So if you're one of those men who thinks you need a woman to realize your greatness, you are living in a scarcity mindset. You can build yourself, you can self-direct yourself, you can create your life that you want and create a lot of happiness that you can then share with someone. Because the, the best deal I think is if you're already happy and the woman you get with is happy, y'all take your happiness and put it together. That's a great relationship. Uh, relationships built in times of need, 
usually do not last once that need is solved. That's one of the things that doesn't happen. So when you get somebody, you down and out, they, 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 they're your angel. Typically, unless you're one of those old school people who have a great to respect and commitment, you're going to bounce once those problems are solved. I've seen this happen many times with people who've gotten married. Like uh, one friend of mine got married, his wife, he caught a pretty girl slipping. She was very pretty, but she was in a bad straits. He came in, his cape was flowing in the, in the, in the breeze. He came in, Captain Save a Hole. He saved up everything, he fixed her up, and once she was healed up, and she got straight, she left him. You can't save him, man, you can't save him. So, a big part of the entrepreneurial journey is to have fundamental belief in self. Because once you believe in yourself that, you know, I can do things with things. I mean, I've done things that, you know, I, I will tell you, that I have other people on Disruptive Mail hating because they haven't done anything like that. And I realized, I, I threw up a video the other day talking about how the average dude can get a lot of sex because you typically have not positioned yourself to be with a lot of women. And a lot of people don't understand the position of how that is. And the first thing of that is economics. So you don't have a job that takes up all your time. That's the first step. A lot of broke dudes get a lot of trim and a lot of dudes who have businesses that can run themselves where they have plenty of free time, they can get a lot of trim. But the whole thing is about that positioning because as an entrepreneur, you position yourself in your life in so many ways if you think about it, if you actually look forward and stop thinking about the here and now, like I'm broke now, I don't have what I need now. If you stop looking at the here and now and you plan for the future with a written plan, with a detail of how you're going to get that money, oh my God, Becky, look at the next millionaire. It is within you to do this. If you get rid of the distractions and you get rid of the self-doubt and you get rid of people, agents of misfortune who will come into your life, you can do this. I had someone... I had a video up how to find gold at garage sales. It was an instruction manual on how to make money. This is what that video was. I've had several people who watched that video was like, man, it works. They took action. I have several people watch that video. They never even tried. See, entrepreneurs have heart. Entrepreneurs gonna go out and try something. They're gonna say, hey, it may look crazy right now, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna jump. Geronimo, you know, they get in there, they make these things happen, they build themselves up. Another thing as an entrepreneur, you're gonna to have to be an action-oriented person. You're gonna to have to take actions every day, multiple actions every day. You're gonna to have to be out there working for real, not pretending to be working while you're surfing on Facebook. Uh, I see so many people who claim to be entrepreneurs and maybe their business is at a point where they don't have to do anything or the businesses run themselves, but they spend way much, way too much time on Facebook. Way too much time on Facebook. So you gotta be focused as an entrepreneur on what you want to happen. You need to think about, you need to dream about, and you need to focus on what you want to happen and not worry about what you don't have. The first time that I got this mindset was when I got laid off. And I, I don't know what it was because I got laid off and I was upset, but I was like, okay, it's going to be okay. And I remember telling the guys, I need you a few more weeks. I said, no, no, I'm going to go home and figure it out. And that's exactly <clears throat> what I did. I went home, I figured it out, hit monster.com with five custom-made resumes, had a voicemail system with Mr. Patel, my reference on it, and it worked. I had a plan and I executed. And that was my first taste of what I could do if I put my mind to it. And you have the same power if you put your mind to it and cut the crap, cut the excuses. This is the life of an entrepreneur, you can do it. For those of you who need a little help, I have a blueprint under the video of courses that I have created that you can get into the same position. 
They're not going to break your pockets. You could be making minimum wage. You can still get these courses. And it's a pathway of the foundational courses you need to take, then the you know, sales courses, business courses, things you need to get started, things you need to awaken the giant within you. This is below the video. First thing you want to do is get the free audio book. You need to listen to that several times. That's going to help you develop the hustler's mindset. Then get busy, start taking these courses. In a minute, I'm going to show you a commercial that's going to explain each course. So with that, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in, with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway, because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel, and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy, and it's not. It's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're gonna have. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go under all right, so this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're gonna do is get the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're gonna start, getting that mind correct. Then you're gonna move to this. Money management is the basis of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money well, you're not going to manage a lot of money well. It's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they never learn how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming the Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you'll take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialized because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. 
this is a habit that you need to develop how to manage your time how to get stuff done when you start a business there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done how to what's the priority what's not priority this course will do it for you all right so the fifth course you will get scripted days this is a life-changing course i think it's too cheap but i want you guys to benefit it will give you the power of written manifestation it will straighten out your uh, bad habits it will put you on the path of productive success it will teach you how to you know set up a morning ritual set up an evening ritual a lot of things this will be the fifth course now these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation when i was doing 30 days for 2500 i had some students do amazingly well and some students struggle the people who did well already had a business or b a superior mindset the foundational courses will give you the superior mindset let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start this next section is for you typically business success comes from practicing business skills one of the best ways to do that is by reselling you got to get your feet wet this is where you will start with the reselling courses uh this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book the pimping craigslist stuff all of this stuff to get you geared for resale how to have a great garage sale all that now once you've gotten the first five courses your next move will be 30 days to 2500 this course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business it will be thought provoking this is also a good course for people with established businesses remember how i told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well so go ahead you know if you have a business owner if you go through because 30 days to 2500 is a long course it's going to take you about two months to go through it but it'll be well worth it because in these two months you're going to learn stuff it's going to open up your eyes it's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business all right uh the seventh course will be asking for the money how to be an uber salesperson now don't get this course unless you have something to sell just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time you need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice and once again uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the luponics book i don't know the name can't remember the name of it all i know is that red and black cover can't help you people keep like man it sounds dope What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the Art of Holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business because like i said you know I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2500 and if i had been thinking i would have did this like way sooner but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business it's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared it's just a process it's going to take them a little time to you know like you got kids all kids don't learn at the same rate you got some kids who learn slower and but they can still get there and essentially this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses they will help you get your mind right this will help you get your mind right the dsl chronicles hell yeah they ain't gonna buy people i mean seriously i i, I pretty much ignore those folks because i've been down that path before typically the people who are like i want this course i want this course i want this course and who want to talk to me uh the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do this like well if glendon thinks this is cool no you you need to give yourself permission you need to validate yourself you need to um believe in yourself 
Mike Elliott. This ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting that generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You, you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff. But the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding. Maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale those are only courses for business owners and a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff uh beginning business person so once again just go ahead you know if you're brand new to the channel you just found this welcome thank you appreciate you um this is what we're going to do Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, cause got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, Hey Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying, but where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses, then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new, information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level so with that i will see you guys later